When I heard about the viral TikTok cottage cheese ice cream, my thought was that is way too good to be true. But you guys, I gave it a try. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave the link in the card above. And it is definitely just that good. And it is absolutely true. You can make a delicious creamy ice cream out of cottage cheese. And where else can you say cottage cheese and ice cream and protein in the same breath, you guys? But that is exactly what you are going to get with this particular recipe. So it was so delicious, I had to come back again for yet another uh, recipe that I put together. You guys, super excited to show it to you. This time, I am making a peanut butter cup ice cream out of this cottage cheese. Thank you guys so very much for being here. And if you're here, not yet subscribed to my channel, please do me the honor of doing so by pressing that subscribe button below, you guys. So without further ado, let's get right into this recipe. These are the ingredients. I've got my cottage cheese. I've got my sweetener, some protein powder, and my peanut butter cup, which is homemade, you guys. If you've never made a homemade peanut butter cup, I will also leave the link to the recipe for this in the card above. Super, super, super simple. When you make it yourself, you guys, I promise you, just how simple it is and you get to control the ingredients, you will never want to buy one of these from the store again. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this back in the freezer because it's a little bit warm in here. It's starting to melt a little bit. So I'll be right back with you and then we will put together the base of this ice cream. Okay, you guys, let's put it all together. So I've got my mixing container here and I am going to take This cottage cheese. Next, our protein powder, our sweetener. Put the lid on this. And it's time to blend. And there we have it. We've got our ice cream base, you guys. Let me get a spoon so you can see the texture of it. Look at that. Nice and creamy, no lumps in it whatsoever. So at this point, I'm gonna go back to the freezer. I'm going to get those peanut butter cups out and I'm gonna uh, slice them into um, small chunks and put this in. And then this will be ready to freeze. Okay, guys. I'm not sure if this has set long enough. I'm trying to get through this recipe, but we are going to give it a shot. So just proceed to cut this into little chunks. Yeah, this could have definitely have stayed in the freezer longer, but we are gonna make this work. Okay, all right, let's start with that. So set this aside. I'm going to get this bowl. This is the same bowl I used to melt the chocolate in. And I'm just going to put half of this base in here. And the reason being is because I got a surprise for you guys. I'm going to make another recipe out of the other half and stay tuned for that. Okay. That looks good. Okay. So I'm going to take some of these little not so Reese's pieces <laughs> and put them in here. And again, if I was patient and let them sit, and these would have been a lot firmer, but we're gonna work with what we have. All right, you guys, that looks like plenty for this recipe. So what I'm gonna do is gently fold this in without breaking it up. And chocolate that is too much more than it already is. And if it breaks up, that's good too. That's where there's peanut butter, there's chocolate. Where there's chocolate, there's peanut butter and you cannot go wrong with that. 
Okay, you guys, I think we have a good mix here. Let me give you a close up. That way you can see we've got some chunks of the peanut butter cup. We have some chocolate throughout along with that peanut butter. So at this point, I'm gonna get my ice cream container, put this in there, and then this will be time to freeze. I had to put that peanut butter cup in the freezer because it was melting rapidly. So this is my container. I'm gonna go ahead and put my ice cream in here. All right, you guys, and there it is. So I'm gonna put the lid on this and off to the freezer this goes to set for about three hours. And then once that is done, I'll be back with you to check the texture and to give this a taste. See you soon. All right, guys. And here we have it. I actually took it out of the freezer and let it sit for a few minutes just so I would be able to get into, ooh. Wow. I might have let it sit out too long, but anyway. Look at that. We've got nice chunks of that not so Reese's peanut butter cup. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys. I have some extra over here just in case I just wanted to add a little bit more, but I don't know if I actually need to because there's so much in here, but you know what? Yeah, I need to. <laughs> so here we go. All right, you guys. Now it's time to give this a taste. All right, you guys. And here we have it. A not so Reese's cottage cheese ice cream. Lord, I thank you. You guys, this is good. Mm. I have to tell you, I am all for this cottage cheese based ice cream. I have to tell you, this stuff is really, really good and it's so simple. Wow. The one thing that I would tell you that is different between this one and then the strawberry one that I made first is that I taste more of a cream cheese type of flavor in this one. And I'm sure it's because in the first one, because the fruit that was mixed into the base kind of camouflaged the flavor. Whereas this one, I've just got the base with some peanut butter cups inside of it. So it's not masking the flavor. But regardless of all that, this is still absolutely delicious, you guys. Give it a try. And then when you do come back, leave in the comments, let me know how you feel about it. And also remember to give this video a like and a share. And also please do subscribe to my channel if you've not yet done so before. Thank you guys so very much for being here. And remember, it is a great day and you continue to make it your own kind of special with delicious recipes such as this. And until we meet again, keep growing, keep thriving, keep pushing those boundaries. And I will see you all real soon on my next Fit Fab 50. Enjoy.